everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome! My name is Michaela, aka M Glory R N, and today I'm filming another building a PC video, and this one's more like a more budget, mid-size, smaller PC than compared to my first video. Link in the video at the top right here. Go check it out if you haven't already. But in today's video, my goal here is to create a smaller build budget PC for anyone who is willing to look for a PC that's not too expensive for their pockets. So let's look at the specs here that we've got here. So in terms of RAM, we got this G-Skill RAM. I think it's 8 gigs each. I think it's 8 gigs each. And this guy from Canadian Computers or Canada Computers, oops, they recommended to me this guy because let's just say today, no, today's January 2021 and there isn't a lot of options that we have in the computer stores nowadays for any computer building PC specs. So we are going to do what we have. So I got this RAM and then for the memory, we got that 970 EVO Plus. This is the 500 gig um, gigabytes, I think. Yep. So this is the 900. And then for my CPU, got the Ryzen 5. Didn't choose the RGB version because this time I wanted to create a build that's more just simple and plain and something small that so you don't really need to see the lights or anything. So I got the Ryzen 5. So yeah, really excited. And then for the motherboard, I got the B450 Aorus. And this one surprisingly is RGB. I didn't even know it was RGB. I was really aiming for something more simpler, but yeah, I just ended up getting this B450 because this is the one that I found on the shelf. And then for my power supply, I got this 550 Corsair power supply and Man, this seems pretty big, but I could have gone on a smaller one, but I got this one, so it's okay. And for my case, I went with the smaller mid-tower case. It's called the Matrix 30. You'll see it once I unbox it. I'm super excited, but this is more of a simpler case where I can hide all the specs over here so that you don't really see the inside, but it's more of just, you know, showcasing the outside, so that's what I have here. And then... For the graphics card. Okay, long story short, there isn't any graphics card available online or in store because of all, I don't know, all the things that's going on in the world right now. Remember, this is 2021, there's nothing available for graphics card, although there are releases, there is nothing, there is nothing available right now. So instead, I looked hard on Facebook or I had a friend that really helped me find this graphics card or even just a graphics card that can you know that can be compatible for all this stuff that I got and I found this that is right no it is not a plug this is it's not this plug so the graphics card I got was a 1070 Ti I think I don't even remember because this was on Facebook marketplace but I shall see and I'll link you guys down below all the specs I have down here Okay, so anyways, let's go and start building this PC. So the first thing I did when building my PC was take the Ryzen 5 out of its box and then pick it up carefully and hopefully put it on my motherboard lined up perfectly and clip it on. So that's what basically what I did here. And it looks great. Look at that. It fits so well and looks so nice. Afterwards, I needed to take out my case and make sure to open it up so that I can put the motherboard into the case. Meanwhile, I had to put some of the accessories onto the case so that everything can be in and plugged in. But check this out, here is my motherboard and I'm carefully putting it on its case or in its case. And meanwhile, I had to screw it on because there is a lot of screws that you need to put on when you're putting the motherboard into the case. So that's what I did. So here's a closer look of the CPU and the motherboard all in its case if it's perfectly. Next, I'm taking out my 
two ram sticks. Over here is the G skill and I'm putting that in into the motherboard. Usually when you put the RAM in, you wanna clip, you wanna open the clips and you wanna press it hard so that it just clips on automatically. And it's easy peasy. Next, I have my Samsung Evo Plus 500 gigabytes and I'm putting that into the motherboard. This is also really easy to do. You clip that on and then you find your screw and you screw it on into the motherboard. And also this motherboard here, it comes with an over top case for the memory card. So that's what I put it on. Next step, I put in my cooler. And this is always the nerve wracking part. Good thing there's already thermal paste behind this cooler. And you just need to put it on top of the CPU, which I did. This was pretty easy. It wasn't too hard, but I'm usually very careful at this part because I don't want to damage the CPU. Then I just screw it in once it fits into place. And after that, I try to make sure I plug in the cooler into the motherboard so that it actually works. So the next step is putting the GPU into the motherboard or into the case. And basically this is the most exciting part. Make sure whoever owns this PC gets to put in the GPU because that's basically tradition. Next up is the power supply. We're gonna put this Corsair 550W into the case and into the motherboard and connected it all. And this is pretty easy. You just put it in and you screw some more. Okay, so currently we just completed putting in the power supply and I put in, so we completed putting in the power supply, put in the fan, the CPU, the GPU, and that was actually really all easy. But now we're doing the toughest part, which is always the toughest part when building a PC is doing all the wirings and then also doing some cable management. So hopefully we'll do a pretty decent fast drop in it. So yeah, this is gonna take time, but let's get to it. So here's me trying to cable manage and trying to plug in all the wires. As you can see, this case is pretty hard to cable manage because it's very small. But hey, I finished and I'm happy with that. Hey guys, so it's the moment of truth. So we just finished wiring a lot of the wires into the motherboard and now it's really the moment of truth of whether this Facebook market GPU that I got, that I found online because there's no other GPUs that you can find in the market, in the stores, online, retail. So yeah, I really hope this 1070 Ti actually works because I spent a lot of money on it. So let's go and check this baby out. To test the computer and to see if it works, I actually used this TV behind me because I didn't have a monitor on hand because I moved everything out of the room. But hey, guess what? This PC works! Oh wait, just joking, I forgot to put the power supply on. Okay, turn that on, now it should work. Let's take a closer look. You can see the fan spinning and we looked at the monitor up top and it is working, yes. So that's it for my video. Thank you, Chris, for helping me out. But this time I did a lot of it myself because yeah. I know how to build PCs now. But that's it for my video. I'm super excited that, and I'm super excited to see whether this budget PC actually turns out great for F FPC gaming or FPS gaming and other stuff. So I'm really excited. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.